You're watching Influence Me Wednesday with Morale All Things Hair. Hello, my name is Morello Kane with Morale All Things Hair dot media. Bringing to you today's segment of the Air Debate, which is our fashion and flair with air. I am here with my co-host D Hardy, okay, of Elevation Hair Studio, right there in the heart of Duluth. So I tell you, um, and we also, too, have a special guest here with us today. But before I introduce her to you, I want to just have a little small conversation with my co-host, all right? You know, the Warner Brothers Hair Show 2018 was just here a couple of weeks ago. And so I tell but now, guys, check out that goatee. Is that not hot? I just, are you pregnant, dude? I'm sorry. You, 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 you know, know I do what I can when I can. Just a little light. Okay. Okay, so now the hair show, Brunner Brothers. What are some things that you saw? Trinidad and Brunner Brothers this year, 2018, we definitely were able to experience quite a bit of color, i.e. in the influence. Um, innovative styles, a lot of changes, the industry standards, the industry originals, but equally so many innovative styles that you know will likely you guys will likely see walking abroad here very soon. Well, you know what? You definitely said something there when you were talking about the different colors and whatnot. But you know what? What I saw was a lot of people pretty much bringing in their own. You know, like the bobs, the long hair, um, edgy cuts and whatnot is still in play. But then pretty much people are making it their own when it comes to the, to the colors. And pretty much how they rock in the styles, which kind of bring us to our topic today and our guests. Okay, Miss Danetta McLeod. And so, um, Miss McLeod, thank you so much for joining with us today. Okay. Thank you for having me. Uh, uh, absolutely. And when I tell you, she is an upcoming blogger, fashion enthusiast, as we would call her. But check out that blogging name, okay, that she's working with. Danetta Rose. Okay, when I tell you, when I, I absolutely love that name. And you guys are going to definitely have to come back and check her out. But she's going to share some behind the scenes with us on what's trending um, in spring. I tell you, she has um, some insight. Okay, her background is fashion. Okay, and when I tell you, um, what are some things like in fashion, what do you do? So I work a lot with retailers and buyers and making sure that they are aware of what is trending currently and what to be looking for to bring into their retail stores. Okay, okay. So I tell you, in the buyers out there, okay, you guys, make sure that you follow her page because you may have some insights in and whatnot on what's to see and what's to come. So now when it comes to colors, because see, that's what we saw trending when it comes to at Runner Brothers, so when it comes to what, you know, and we always want to pattern that with the hair, with, you know, coordinating that with the style and right. with the fashion. And so what are some things that you saw color-wise that you would say would be trending in the spring? Yes, so um, this 2018 spring, um, our color palettes are usually based off of the Pantone color palettes. Um, we're seeing a lot of saturated hues as well as pastels and working them together. Um, some of the themes have been along the theme of wonderlust. So just embracing the natural nature hues and the floral, as well as having that thriving, adventurous um, uh, personality and having those mm. saturated hues in there as well. So I was loving that blue because that's one of those saturated hues that we were talking about. Okay, so when you, okay, what's that word you just use, that individual? Because I thought I was kind of trying to bring that flair about you with me. You girl. You got some saturated hues. You're, right. <laughs> You're rocking it. You got your pastels. Well, hey, I'm trying to do a little song. Uh, right? Yes. That's exactly. That's in that right. hair? I can see the pink. Uh, okay, okay. Now, see, now you guys, you, you know I'm shy. <laughs> I cannot tell. Uh, well, when I tell you, that's exactly what, when it, at the show, we saw a lot of that. A lot of people kind of bring it, you know, with their styles, with the hair. And so now when you say pastels, were there any particular colors that kind of stood out that was? So Pantone uses fancy names. 
Um, I don't remember them all off the top of my head, but there's one called Blooming Dahlia, and it's actually the color that is in your hair. And I personally like to look up the colors when I'm getting my nails done. So I've gotten the Blooming Dahlia color on my nails. Now don't zoom in and then we can take you. <laughs> but <laughs> you are able to find these um, on the, the colors online at Pantone. I am a big user of Pinterest, so I'll search, you can search Pinterest and find those colors there as well. But you want to make sure that you're incorporating those in your color palettes and um, in your fashion trends from day to day. Okay, so now let me just say, you don't have to per se go and get the tone exact matching from a hair. To, I mean, but pretty much coordinating. Will you say that, D? Absolutely. So you want there to be balance. And I know fashion enthusiasts by far. <laughs> That's my point. Says who? Says However, who? Um, pairing. So much to your point, just pairing, you know, your saturated, heavily saturated with your naturals, your neutrals. You, you want to mimic the same behaviors even with hair. You may want to do something a little edgy as we discussed on our last episode. Um, something a little edgier up top. Here with something a tad bit more simplified so you can exaggerate and really exhibit what it is you want to portray. But then equally kind of bring it back down so you're not doing too much as they say. Right. I, because, and let me just tell you, when it comes to too much, what I wanted to do was throw on the mat. Oh, <laughs> Oh, I, I wanted to throw that on, but then again, would you have, you know, would that be too much? It, it could be. Now, again, keeping very much so what you said prior to, it's going to be personal. Mm -hmm. So you have to be able to accept what it is you're actually giving. So if you carry the orange with your, you know, maroon or burgundy, what does that look like against your skin? How does that complement with your hair? What image are you projecting with that specifically? Because it is a tad bit more specific than what you may otherwise see in most common times. Oh, I love that. <clears throat> Absolutely. Now, would you have anything to add to that when it comes to, you know what, one of the things I'm also wanted to know is about cutting. Like, what type of the style of, of the tops. Is there anything in particular? Are we talking about off the shoulder, up to the neck, or what? So, um, across the board, season, season, um, a lot of people like to have different necklines. Now, I would say that the necklines are usually dependent on your body type. There are certain things that are um, that cater more to different body types. And so, in particular, there's, you know, the high neckline. Those are very slimming. Um, the off-the-shoulder is good for curvier body types that kind of offer that asymmetrical look. Um, but more specific with trends, um, transparency in your fabric, as well as silk and shiny satins will be popular coming up this spring. And although it doesn't look like it outside right now, I am... I'm ready for it. Oh, ab oh my God, absolutely. And so now you definitely said something here. Um, by the way, you guys would definitely see a lot of tops up to the neck. You said slimming? Yes. Oh, yeah, you will definitely see a lot of top neck up to, <laughs> to the neck. Yeah, for sure. Because then it does kind of bit. Absolutely. So, absolutely, when it comes to balancing, like you did say, D, the hair plus the different necklines and styles and whatnot. <clears throat> now, when I tell you, when it comes to... Say if something was off the shoulder, would you say that a hairstyle that would be what more? Would you say the bringing it up to accentuate how that top is cut? I personally would say it's intentional on that specific piece. So if it's off the shoulder, you may want to do something long with a little wave, or you may do a pin up. It's really specific, or it's really more or less what did that actual piece and where does it place and then take it into account again your body type. So what is it you want to project? What is it you want people to assume or presume about you once they see you? What image are you projecting or portraying at that specified time? Okay, and, abs and, and definitely knowing and having that confidence, okay, of walking it out. Right. Because as, as I like to tell my clients, you know, sometimes, you know, they would say, well, um, well, well, you know what, that, you know, that fell like this in the book, or it looked like that online. And I'm like, well, no, no, let's tailor it to you. You know, let's, let, let's make this your own. Customize. It. Customize. Say that word again, D. Customize. It. Okay. Make it custom. Okay. <laughs> Hashtag that, please. Hashtag custom. 
<laughs> because see, definitely what you want to do is kind of make things your own and create your own train. That's the best way of walking, you know, something out. Definitely share, share, share this, you know, with people that, you know, right now, a lot of people are out there, you know, looking at different um, designers and, you know, trans colors and whatnot. Definitely share. You want to share this information. Spring is here. It's not going anywhere. And when I tell you, I want to thank Dean Hardy, okay, of Elevation, Hair Studio, and Miss Nutter Rose. Oh, my God, that name. I tell you, it's been a pleasure having you here. Okay, I'm just saying that she's going to be here with us every season, okay, coming. She's, we're going to bring her on the platform. She's going to discuss, like, the trends and what's coming and what not. But it's been a pleasure having you here. Thank you. Okay. Yes, Miss Netta Rosé. <laughs> and so, um, but I tell you, uh, where can they find you at D? Thank you guys again, Morale. Thank you, obviously. Netta Rosé, thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> You can always find me at 2074 Old North Cross Road, Elevation Hair Studio. Upscale, affordability, designed just for you. And I'm telling you, if you're ready for that customization, be ready. Take a look at that go. Be ready and understand the trends of what's coming. Okay, again, thank you so much for joining with us. It's the Hair Debate, Morale, all things hair, dot media. Okay, do share, share, share the page. YouTube at the Hair Debate, um, Instagram, Facebook at the Hair Debate. Again, the platform, theHairDebate.com, where we come to debate, debunk, and discover all things hair.